So before 5G, phones always used the same low part of the spectrum, right? Then what happened? Then we have the high bands which have never been used for cellular communication before. These are known as the millimeter wave bands. That's interesting. Why, why were they never used until 5G? These bands, the amount of bandwidth is extremely high, but the propagation is not very good. So you have to have much more closer cell sites to the user. It allows us to be far more precise in terms of transmitting to a given user. More precise? Think of the difference between a flashlight, which kind of floods everyone in the room, versus a laser pointer, which can pinpoint a given user. But because the beam width is so small, there can be a complete blockage. If the user is walking past a light pole, that light pole can completely block that specific beam. So, there is a beam that's tracking the user, and then if that doesn't work out, the user immediately switches to a different beam. We call this adaptive beam switching. The user can always switch back and forth between multiple beams. I walk around with it, I drive with it, and I don't care whether I'm close to the base station or not. That's when we knew, okay, there is some potential now. Now we can do something with it. You didn't celebrate or anything? We very rarely uh, pause and celebrate the fact that we've solved a challenge. Maybe we should do that a little more. Thank you, Durga.